late 2017, the world will await the results of a radical and controversial operation. Italian neurosurgeon Dr. Sergio Canavero, seen by many as a maverick, is set to attempt the world's first human head transplant. A body transplant or a head transplant is a true first in medical care. Whether it can be performed successfully remains to be seen. Yes, sir, here. Oh, very high. But the surgeon has found a participant willing to take the risk. A Russian man with a chronic and progressive neuromuscular problem has been considered to be the likely candidate for the recipient of the body transplant. Valery Spiridonov is wheelchair bound and his degenerative disease is terminal. 90% is the chance that Valery stands to survive the operation. 150 doctors and nurses would be involved in an operation that could take up to 36 hours to complete. The proposition involves maintaining the blood supply around the donor body, but also critically maintaining the blood supply to the recipient's head so that the recipient does not suffer a terrible stroke or brain death. To maximise the length of time that the blood supply can be interrupted, the recipient and the donor body will both be cooled to a significantly subnormal temperatures to around 17 degrees or so. Once everything is cooled, then the donor body will be slowly dissected from the donor head and at the same time the recipient head will be freed of its minimally or non-functioning old body. Critically, it involves cutting the spinal cord and grafting the donor spinal cord in the donor body onto the recipient's spinal cord and brain. Doctors will have less than 60 minutes to reattach the head. The spinal cord is to be glued together, followed by some hardware to screw the spinal column together, and then the muscles will be reattached. The patient will be kept in a coma for six weeks, presumably to allow the spinal cord to heal or knit together. The procedure, which seems the stuff of science fiction, has been met with concern and scepticism by the medical establishment. In theory, every step of it can be done, and there are some steps of it that are done routinely, but a spinal cord has never successfully been reattached before. Once the spinal cord is cut and repaired, it will not function, and we know that from extensive scientific studies and medical studies. There is an inevitability that the recipient will wake up unable to move the arms, legs, or any of the organs of the grafted body. So they will be unable to breathe and would subsequently die. And there are other questions about the ethics of the operation. There is a concern about the use of a donor body, which would normally be used for harvesting organs being used on a project where there is very little medical or scientific evidence to support its use. Dr. Canavero believes the transplant could be the key to everlasting life. His controversial plans will be watched with fascination by professionals and public alike in 2017. This is going to be a big talking point because it captures the public imagination and it is a fascinating medical procedure to devise and to contemplate. Will it be a medical success? No. But I'm happy to be proved wrong.